Hi! In today's video, we will look how we can model this dumbbell inside a blender. So, let's get started. First of all delete everything by clicking A, X and delete. Then add a cylinder by pressing Shift A, and turn down the vertices number to 6. Then rotate the mesh about 90 degree along Y axis. Now scale the mesh along X axis by pressing S and X. The tab into edit mode and click the both hexagonal faces and press I to insert it. Now I am moving both inserted faces in opposite direction by pressing G and X to create a dumbbell like shape. Usually you can find a crease along the middle of the dumbbell. To create that, press K and cut both faces as shown in the video. Then select both edges and bevel a little bit. Then select the beveled faces on both the sides and Alt E to extrude along its normal a little bit. I also scaled down the edges of the crease to attain a sharp look to it. Then add a cube and scale it down as shown in the video and move it up. If the Bool tool add-on is enabled, you can select the cube first, shift select the dumbbell second, press F3 on your keyboard. Search for Bool Tools and click it. Change the operation from Integration to Difference. If the add-on is not enabled, go to Edit, Preferences, Add-on and search for Bool Tools. Now adjust the depth of the Boolean operation according to your needs. Now apply the modifier and give the mesh a little bit of bevel. Now it's time to add corresponding weight text to the dumbbell. Shift it to add text and tab into edit mode to edit the text. I'm typing 25 kilograms. Scale it down and place properly on top of the dumbbell. Give the text some thickness and bevel from the text menu on he right side. After that, right click the text and convert it into a mesh. Now, 
Select both text and dumbbell and duplicate it by clicking Shift D. Rotate it 180 degree along Z axis and move it along X axis. Now we can make the handle. Shift A to add a cylinder and turn up the vertices to 32. Rotate it 90 degree along Y axis. Scale it down and tab it to edit mode to add a loop cut at the middle. Go to wireframe mode and select the left half of the cylinder. Add a mirror modifier along Z axis and enable clipping. Select the right face and press G to move the face as per the size of the handle. Now press E followed by escape and scale the face a bit. Then extrude it again along X axis. Add a bunch of loop cuts to the handle by pressing Ctrl R followed by scrolling the mouse wheel. Then apply the mirror modifier. Now select the middle edge loop and turn on proportional editing. Press S and make the middle portion a bit bulky as shown in the video. Now go to wireframe mode and select four loop faces on both left and right sides. Right click it and choose separate by selection. Do the same for the middle portion also. Now bevel the edges and give a shade smooth. Now select the right separated part and tab into edit mode. I'm giving some edge loops to make the faces a bit more square shape. It's not a perfect square, but it will work fine. Now select all faces and subdivide it two times. Go to Face and select Poke Faces. Then select one of the vertices. Shift G and choose amount of adjacent faces. But we don't want this left and right edges to be selected. To avoid that, select the left and right edge loops and press F to fill it. Now if do shift G in amount of adjacent faces, the edges will not be selected. After that press Alt S to scale it a bit. Make sure that your proportional editing is turned off. Do the same procedure for the left and middle portions also.
Now we can UV unwrap the mesh. I'm simply unwrapping by Smart UV Project option. For that, select the mesh, tab into edit mode, press A to select all, press U and select Smart UV Project. Now it's shading time. Split the window in half and enable Material Preview Mode on one window and Shader Editor on the other. Add a new material to the dumbbell. I'm connecting a noise texture connected with Hue Saturation Value Node and Bump Node to the normal input of the principal BSDF. Reduce the bump value and increase the texture scale. Give a black base color to it. But the texture is too clean. So I'm adding some scratches to it. I'm using a black and white scratch texture that find on Google. Connect the texture with a color ramp and connect it to roughness input. You can find the texture that I'm using from the description section. Change the color space to non-color data. And change the black color to something gray in the color ramp. Now copy the material to other parts also. For the handle part, I'm simply using a free steel texture that find on Blender Kit. Our modeling process is now completed. Now I'm just adding a backdrop to take a render. Shift it to add a plane. Scale it. Extruded it, bevel it accordingly. Shift it to add a camera and change the aspect ratio as per your liking. Finally I'm adding some lights and change the render engine to cycles. So that's it for today. Thank you for sticking around. I hope you learned something.